Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and we're picking up this series on the 22nd of September 1981. Now we're starting with the game on pause for two reasons. The first one is I want to get through this intro and give you guys some feedback on your comments without having to worry about the gameplay. And the second one is probably a bit more important. That is that we are now on the new update. This is the update 0.8.4.6. This was released into the open beta branch in Steam on the 21st of April 2021, if you're watching this in the future. And as promised, we are now going to take this series forward on the new update with all the consequences that that may entail. Hopefully it won't break the game too much. And you can see we've, I've actually been able to load it. Now, in that context, I want to emphasize that going forward now, that this series is going to become very much an experimental series for trying out the new game features. So this isn't going to be so much about optimization. I'm going to do a few things going forward that are going to look a bit odd. And in a similar vein, I will do separate videos to talk about some of the more complex features. But in this series, and especially in this video, I haven't looked that much at the new updates, so there's going to be a bit of fumbling around and kind of um and ahhing while I try and work out things are work. Now, before that, as usual, a big thank you for your comments and feedbacks, and I want a couple of special mentions here. One for Kanita Viti, who actually asked me a question about skins on mods. To be completely honest, I never really knew how that worked. I just assumed that there was some mechanism. Therefore, I wasn't actually able to help him. But what he actually did was, is when he found out, he actually replied back to me and told me how it's done. And just to show you what I'm talking about, again, you guys don't actually know, we come to covered holes here. If you see a vehicle, or even I think this even applies to buildings as well, I think. If you see a little spray can here, if you click on the spray can, what you see is you can change the colouring and the skin on the vehicles. And I think if you come through here, there's another one over here. So I think going forward, we're going to be seeing a few more of these. And I think this is a good example of a feature that looks confusing, but it's incredibly simple once you know how. The other thing I also want to draw your attention to is the I button that was once very prominent on this menu has been moved up to here on the buildings. Now, the next person I want to mention is Stats Nugent, who very kindly replied to the question that I raised in the previous video to do with radios and TVs and computers. And what he said is that uneducated people tend to go for radios, basic educated people go for televisions and university educated go with computers. I mean, it does seem a bit of an odd mechanic, but in some ways it does make sense. Even though I've technically I've got no uneducated people in here, but what you could have had, I mean, you could argue that, that those 132 radios actually belong to the the children here. Looks like I've got a lot of over 21s again as well, but I'm not going to worry too much about that just at the moment. Now, another comment mentioned about the fact I had a shortage of high tension leads in this area. And I think I'm going to have to come up, be totally honest about this. I've cheated a little bit here. And I, and if I kind of put the high tension leads, you see I've got a high tension lead break off here and a high tension break off here. Now, the reason I've got a high tension break off here is because I put an, an underground section of cabling here. And you can see if I zoom in, that disappears. But if I step back, you can see I can bring another one off here. So there were enough power connections here. It's just that you guys couldn't see see them unless I drew your attention to the, to it specifically. But in the similar vein, if I come up to here and go over to here, he was right, quite right over in this area that I didn't have, I got a, a connection here and I got a power connection here. And I don't seem to have a, a cable there. So we're just gonna come there and connect that up. This was a better make sure this is allocated as well. Uh, I'll put this to Gravelton General Construction for the moment. General Construction there. And what I most likely will do is put in a another splitter here so that we can send the power up to there. And while we're in this area, I'm just going to take a look at the new kind of layers. And what we've got now is you've got wireframe, which is the one we're all familiar with. You can see you've got the red here. And what you can do is turn this on so you can load the wireframe over 
the topographic and this kind of shows the really steep areas and if we turn the wireframe off so you, so, so you can actually stack these a little bit but I think this topographic is very useful when you're deciding on how to level an area of course we've got quite a big leveling project here with respect to building a major town out here I, I must admit I thought this is a little bit more level than what it actually is then of course we've got the underground layer but I'll come back to the underground layer and because that is going to spin into something else I want to check out so I want to kind of keep things together now another comment I had is about meat supplies and the effect on health and I'm I kind of keep coming back to here and I'm I'm really starting to think once this oil refinery is redundant I'm going to completely rebuild this area I think we'll keep the the train station and somebody actually posted a comment some time ago and suggested that what I should be using is a modded a slaughterhouse. I think this is the one they mentioned, which seems the opposite to this one. Because if this one, you've got to get 250 livestock to get 125 tonnes of meat. This one seems to have gone the other way. It says you need 25 tonnes of livestock to get 375 meat, which seems a little bit over the top. I mean, this is a two to one ratio similar to there uh, so I'm not sure if that's the one they actually met, meant but I've got, I'm very tempted to go that that way just to make this a bit more efficient but what I'm probably going to have to do is tear this down and put in and probably another livestock farm here and then eventually replace this with the other building and I think that's all on your comments guys so now we're going to start looking at the new update now as I say what I'm going to be doing is going through the features this isn't going to be a definitive overview uh, some people have already started work on those what I will do is make a couple of videos that focus on specific elements what we're going to do is unpause the game because one thing that's making me a little bit twitchy and I haven't really I mean this is the first time I've run this on my on this series so if I show you the infrastructure here what you will see as I was looking at the curved bridges and I've realized now that we've there's, the bridges are powered and I'm a little bit worried about whether I mean the power's there because I'm assuming that if the power connection were broken it wouldn't come from there but it's a bit difficult to tell so what I'm going to do is we're just going to speed this up a little bit to see if the train will run over yeah so there's no problem here just slow it up again so any bridges that are built are uh, on the old model have power now comes the six million dollar question and I want to come up to here because I've got some small bridges up here which there they are and I'm sort of look at these I'm just wondering see these are the new bridges so I'm wondering whether what I'm going to have to do is knock these down and then put the, the the equivalent of these back in again. I'm hoping the new snapping feature will kind of help me out here. It actually has as well. Look at that. That's that's great. And it looks very much I've got myself a little bit of a, a tall order here. And we're going to have to replace some... Oh, come on, game. I'll try another one. Maybe this is a different bridge. Yeah, this, this is a different bridge. I'll accept those. That means I'm going to have to go all the way around the map and all the bridges that I've built, um, I've got to replace or planned. Well, this is this is going to be an interesting one. So we're just going to I'm just going to pause a little bit <laughs> while I do this. And we're going to have to take out that and that. I think this is a. All size. Ah. Ah. Put away that. Can I go back the other way? Wow. I think what's working in my favour here is the snapping. And of course, we've got the new curve bridges now. And of course, we've got the new curve bridges now. And somebody did say that they are a bit too sharp. And, but they, it seems they always start with a straight here. Oops, and of course, I've, and they, they said it get quite. 
So basically the bridge will curve the same way as the the normal rails would which some people said there's a bit too tight but I'm not going to explore that too much now so I've got and all sorts of bridges around that I'm just going to do another one here so I'm going to have to replace this one and then what I'll do is I'll do the rest off camera because I don't want to spend the whole video <laughs> fixing the bridges I'm uh, just seeing Luckily I haven't Okay this one's gonna uh... Okay this one's didn't connect Where's the bridge connection? Okay. Did this one connect properly this time? Yes it did. Can I get this one up as well? Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go and fix me bridges. Now comes the big one, the one that I've talked about quite often in previous videos. And I'm just going to let the game run. And this is the new power overlay. I'm going to come here because if I've got a problem, it's going to be in this area. And if we come in here. Well. Voltage is on the green, but I'm not expecting problems with the volts. But here we go, megawatts. Oh, red. So this is literally running at maximum. And we've got a hot line going this way. So we're nice and green this way. And we've got a... So we're kind of running hot, but not red hot, because these are 18 megawatt power lines here. Wow, look at this. So we can follow the problem up. And it looks a bit like it's actually... Maybe I'm trying to sell too much electricity. So let me just pop that export mode down a bit. Are these starting to turn green? I think they are, actually. Yeah, so maybe I was selling too much electricity. I don't think I've got any other problems. Let's just get, have a quick skate across the map. And see. Now I did have a hot spot in Winchester. It was this substation here, but they're all showing green. That's awesome. Yep, I'm pretty impressed by that. And I can see me using this quite a lot. Now comes the next one. The fun bit is what can I eating? Oh, oh ah, yes, 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 yes. Something to remember. In power, green is good. In heating, red is good. Which is a little bit of inverse. And what I'm looking for is anything that's not red. What we got over here? Any problem? No, looks like we're on the money here. All the way round. Now, of course, one thing we will get is warning messages down here. I don't think we've had anything like that. Ambulance not arrived. Okay, I've absolutely no idea what that means. Unemployment too high. Let's just turn this off. So we actually get warnings when the unemployment is, but that will be fixed when this is built. Of course, what I'll show you here is there's the new animation for constructions. Instead of having that box, what you get now is the a little um, scaffolding, which kind of builds up as the building progresses. I don't think we're that far away from finishing the aluminium plant, but that can be deceptive. I've had a few problems with rail track up here. And the trains keep blocking each other. I can't quite work out what, what's actually causing the problem. Over here, I've got... I mean, we've got our farm here is going full ball now. I did have a slight problem with the distribution offices. They were only filling this to 30%, but this is now running at 90%. And I've got the cargo office here. So we've got lots and lots of nice crops going into there. Some of these aren't finished, considering we're in late September and these haven't actually finished growing. That could be an issue. 
want to see what's these train guys doing. I think in this video, just because I want to talk about the new update, uh, we're just going to leave these rail guys to their own devices. In fact, let's just check. So, where are you? You're... That one's finished. Where are you? Um, we got two over here. So obviously, this one's petered out, so we need to get this guy building this one. Oh, it looks like he's just finished this bit here, which is good. And what we need to do is get him to build this into here first. Of course, we've now got our nice new bridges. Of course, these bridges are going to be more expensive to build now. We've got that done now. I'm just trying to think. And I suppose what I've got to do now, I know I've been putting it off, is the new underground layer. And I want to come here because what I want to see is whether the modded pipes show up on the underground layer. And they don't. That could be. Last well, bit. I'm. They've kind of tr tried to create a kind of stereoscopic view for this underground layer. I'm not sure if I'd really like it. Now, one thing I will say about this underground layer, if we turn it off for the moment, you cannot lay pipes, underground pipes, un under existing buildings. So if I come here, you'll see it says building in way. I think you can get under roads if you drop down. You can go down. I thought you could. Obviously not. There's some infrastructure in the way. I'm sure you could get under roads. Maybe if we go to the underground layer itself and try it. And we go down. Yeah. So you can lay them. Un so you can get under under roads, but you can't get under buildings. I've seen a couple of comments from people saying, "Oh, that's not fair." But in some ways, it makes sense because I I've. I've seen construction sites where they've had to lay in main water lines and things like sewage lines and they've always put those in before you actually build the buildings. So therefore we can't see underground heating pipes and I'm pretty sure you can put in underground heating pipes. Yes you can. You've got the heating version of thank you game. Okay we're just going to have to pop that down. So you can get pipes under roads but not and, oops, uh, cancel that. So we can get pipes there. Of course, the other big one is footpaths. I've got I've, I've never, absolutely no idea how this works, so we're gonna <laughs> give this a go. Um, just turn that off. This is where I'll make myself look a complete idiot. Um, I will just give it a go. So, so what we got here? We have got footpaths. We have got over overpasses, concrete. Overpass steel underpasses. So, I mean, this is just as as I said in the intro. This is uh, so. How does this work? Is the, is the tunnel is above drain. Okay, can we can we go deeper? Why is that? I think it's that's got a road connection there. Oh no, it's gone under. I think the connection is there. It was just. Okay, let me just take this up now. Good. So what is this thing? I'm not exactly sure how that actually works. Okay, I'm just going to cancel that. I think this is something I need to experiment with more. Wait, is this... That pew. What we will do is take a look at an overpass and see how that works. It looks very much so. That looks like it's 
Okay, for argument's sake. Well, we'll see if we can build one here. I mean, just gonna put that there. So, let me just. Ah, so it will link like that. So, if we turn that way, that go that way? Nope. So it goes that way and that way. I know it's I know this is silly. No it is, but I'll uh, just hook you up to there. Yeah, we'll just hook you up to there like that. So we built an overpass from nowhere. So that's another area that we need to experiment with. I'm just gonna leave it there. As I said, this map is gonna be very much an experimental map now. So that's overpasses and underpasses. So underpasses will obviously need more work. Now, moving on. Let's see what else we need. Oh, we've got wind and solar power now. And I'm kind of thinking, I know I put a power supply out to here. It comes in here. I think you've got a splitter here, haven't we? Let me just take a look at this. I'm kind of thinking how does the wind turbines work train has been waiting too long okay where have you been waiting what's up with you stuck on these signals again I to delete the signal will that change anything looks like this guy's got a problem as well Oh, he's, he's touching that signal there. That's what's caused the problem. Kind of half thinking to put a crossover here, but I don't really want to. The alternative is that I put in signals. It's still working through here. I think at the moment I'm going to persevere until I've got through these junctions here. And then we'll see how things go from that point of view. And what was I what was I gonna look at? Oh yeah, wind turbines. Now wind turbines are interesting and I'm I kind of if I hadn't put this power cable in already, I'm I would have put in a connection here, but what I'm thinking is say for argument's sake I put in oh the other thing also we've now got if you look here, see the little star there? That means if I that means I've got uh, options here related devices that's it what you can do is click on the star it means you can oops what happened there I think I cancelled it yeah I must admit I've, I've been playing around with this mods but it can be a little bit eccentric so what you do is you click on the star there like that and then I think if you come into here and then click on that let me see is it on this one there's related devices there we are what you've got here is the high voltage and what it gives you here if you've got multiple ones and they show up so you can put this in like this I think I've got one for education as well universities no not universities sorry I think it's I want to say I was playing around with this just before it's hospitals no okay anyway the way it works is if you go into construction say for example hospitals and say you want this so what you do is you click on the small star there that makes that a priority then what you do if the game game behaves itself come into here now if I click on hospitals it should tell you what what you want that's it you click on the star there and it actually gives you here and then that gives you the alternative if you click off there it, it then drops it back to there if you've got a little star there if you click on the star you get this here and then you can click on oops you've got to be careful where you click because otherwise you cancel it I, 
Personally, I don't think I'm going to be using it too much because it just seems a bit unstable. We also got to remember this is in the, the beta branch. So anyway, back to wind power. Kind of thinking for the fun of it is we're going to put a wind turbine out here. Um, and I don't think I'm going to need a second power takeoff here. So I'm going to just put a wind turbine here as I say. This is purely for the fun of it. We'll put a... Oh, come on, then. You can do it. Now, what happens is, if I show you over here... Oops. If you, if you put a wind turbine near buildings, it works the same way as a substation. It will distribute power but what you can also do is come into here and you can where's the wind turbine you can actually feed the power back into the grid so we're just going to build this one up here and that also i think applies to the solar power plant as well so you can put a big solar power plant up here but i think the problem with the solar power plant it is really big and really what you're going to need to do is, is put a distribution center in. You've only got the one connection. So to, really to use the solar power part, you, you should be feeding it into a, an existing grid. I think the solar panel power plant produces 560 megawatts. But be aware that that will vary due to wind speed and sun now. So that's something else you've got to take into consideration. Now, that little demo out of the way, the, where I am thinking about using a bit of wind power is over here. Once these roads are built, what I'm thinking is I need to have some small construction stuff going here, like a gas station. But I don't really want to run the main power cables in straight away because I don't know how I'm going to build this city. So what I'm kind of thinking is when this road is built, we're going to get a, a fire station uh, a gas station out here with a construction office and then what I'm going to do is put a little wind turbine here to be able to power the gas station so that it works and I suppose that leads me into the thing that I'm avoiding which is the new helicopter construction offices and I'm going to be completely upfront I'm not going to talk about them in this video simply because one I don't truly understand how they work especially the distribution just to give you a little bit of a, an overview. You see here we've got a helicopter construction office. And then we've got helicopter platforms. If I show you here if we can find a space. And so it's almost like this is a super pickup area where you've got to connect in the various resources. Stay here. So you can you can put literally everything into it as long as you connect the platform. So it works very much like these uh, railway stations like this that's where you got to think of it what the helicopters will do is come and land and then what you've also got is the helicopter construction office here yes here's another example of the fact i've got a couple of my construction offices worked on here so if you click on the construction office the road one here it doesn't always do it but this is the um, construction office. Of course, now construction offices have, or the helicopter construction office has fuel. And now when you look at this first stop, this has only got two pads, but it can be extended as far as I know. There's something up, but I don't, I think that's a bit out of scope for this um, video. But quite interesting, if I come into here, you've got the option now, it says delivery mechanisms without of things. It looks like we might have a bit of a problem with steel. Yeah, it looks like we kind of used up all our steel here. We're waiting for steel deliveries, which is a bit of an issue. But there's nothing I can do about that. We'll just have to try and get the steel. Unless I've got a problem with steel production, just have a quick look. Got lots of one of messages flashing up at the moment looks like we yeah we're out of coal again i think we got we got a load of coal coming in 
actually that reminds me what I need to do is come here and oh I've already put the hopper ship on so we got the hopper ships working back to helicopter construction offices that is going to be some uh, going to be very much a work in progress I think until such time as I, I can do a, a video on it specifically I've, I do have a few ideas but and I want to experiment with that in this series but I think I really need to understand how helicopters work now one thing I do want to do with helicopters is I want to put a hospital in this area so many messages ambulance not arrived let me just have take a look here eating problem oh that's that's a fire station it's telling me but one thing I will say about this is that the devs are going to need to put a filter to allow us to configure what we want to know because otherwise you're just going to get swamped by messages. Just tap those. That's of course that's the new one. So what we're going to do now is just going to look at hospitals and the way they're set up. Now, <laughs> to be honest, I know the theory, but this is going to be the first time I've actually done it. Now, the way it seems to work is that you you build a hospital, and similar to airports, you get some green dots around the outside. So I'm just going to put a hospital say in about here and then what we need to do is come to here and what you've got here is heliport so you've got a, a passenger heliport for, which is equivalent to a bus station then you've got the other ones here and I'm presuming that this you'd have to put one of these in to for the construction office if you're going to move people so if you're going to have a construction office that picks up people You've got to build one of these so it's quite a complex setup and i think what you need to do now i think it won't what should happen is when this turns is ready it should turn hospital should turn green like that so when you kind of got it you should and then what you should be able to do is attach the heliport like that and so I'm just going to build this here again it might not necessarily be practical but I'm just doing this purely as an experiment and I think what we can do I'll just put a footpath in here and I think that can kind of go across to there like that because I'm assuming that we're going to need workers here and so that is how you set up heading um hospitals I think if you do it really carefully you could get another six pads here but I think three pads here is probably enough now fire stations are the same and I can't remember I was, where was I gonna put the fire station oh yeah what I was thinking is to put a fire station over here I mean it's a little bit way out because we're gonna have our town in here now but given the size of these heady fire stations I thought it'd be best to put it in first plus I want to try it out now I have read and I emphasize I have read what you need to do with these um, heli these fire heli, heli stations is they've got to be close to water and there is a way that you can tell how far the water is away but I'm not exactly too sure the this maybe if we put it at the fire station about here and then Okay, we have a helipad here. I'm not sure if this is going to work. As I say, I'm kind of groping in the dark a little bit here. I'm expecting that to give me some kind of indication of what whether that's in the right place or not. But maybe it has to be built. It's going to be a bit off if you've got to build it to find out where it's going. I mean, obviously, I'm next to water here. So I think we'll drop that in there. I'm sure there is a way that you can check to see whether this actually... I mean, it doesn't tell you up here, just as heliporter. Oh, well, because the idea is, is that when we start building the town here, this fire station will provide a hop-over effect. I know that we have the bridge, but... If you don't try it you won't find out but i've got no idea what the range of the fire station is 
I know the helicopter construction offices can cover the whole map, but it would be a very slow process. And, oh, the other thing I also, I don't know if I, if I get back to here, will it do it? Now, let me just put in another building just as a demo. And, and if you look at the top here now where it says the construction, what you've got on the right hand side here is you can now batch auto construct items. I think the way you work is you put a series of buildings down and then draw a box round it and then that defines the ones you've got to do it. I mean personally I'm never going to use it but for anybody who auto auto builds stuff that could be quite useful. I'm trying to think of any other features in the game. We cover construction offices, potential problems with rails. Again let's just make sure these are these are being picked up. Let's have a quick look at my steel mill. How far away are you? Well, this guy's now stuck. Oh, cancel the semaphore there. I'm kind of wondering if I put in, say, well, the mix signal here rather than the. whether that will make a difference. Maybe like that. That won't work, will it? Fine, put those in and then say for argument's sake I put yeah, we got these down here. See that's still showing red. Where is it? See that's showing red and there's nobody on this track. Got a kind of a signal here. That is that. That's not changed it. I don't really want to put in. I need to just put in the signals there then. That hasn't changed it. See, the problem is this is all treated as one block. I don't understand why that would... Okay, let me just try something here. See, that changes it. Okay, so we put that there. But then this signal is red, isn't it? It's almost like we've got to break up these sections get a feeling like I need a crossover here. For some reason I've built a crossover here. I think what we'll do is we'll get let this train get past these points here. He's come up to here. And I'm just gonna pause the game. And I'm just gonna put a, I think this is the right way around isn't it? Let me just check so it comes in here, start here. So this becomes a signal that way, this becomes a train signal that way. This becomes a signal there. That becomes a signal there. Make sure these are all comes a signal there. And then these become mixed signals like that. And then this comes up to here and gets stuck. If I delete this one, he will just quite happily come through here. I'm kind of wondering if I take this one out as well, whether that will... That's kind of saying that this is busy from 
this point on. Let me see if that will work. Have a look at my farms because we're on the 25th of October. So you're not ready to harvest yet. I kind of feel that what I really need is and maybe another tractor in here. I think what I might do is buy. Oops, don't want that. I'm going to buy a couple more cupboard holes here just to kind of push this forward a little bit how many of you got you, you, I mean you've got plenty I mean we got nearly 4,000 tons of crops in here wow you actually these are the two ones here okay I think this one I'm, I need to move this one onto here you're, you're picking up okay so you need to come there and you need to load from here yeah you shouldn't be going around to that silo to pick up what's the oh, I've got a gas station you're meant to be on that and you're meant to be loading crops a bit of a fail there <laughs> We've now got the two distribution offices, with some taking the crops down to here, and we've got this sorted out here. Let's just see how much we got in the way of crops we can pick up there. Oh, I just saw something else that's related to the the um, new update, and we've got a we've got a gas fire and power and um, power station. And I kind of needs flat terrain. Would like to put a power station in here. Just again, it's more just for testing purposes. No problems, thank you again. And build due to infrastructure. And I don't want to build it there because I've got. I might want to put an open store here as a logistics area. You put it there a little bit out of the way but and we could get it in there relatively tightly Let's give this a go oops I just lost the road connection maybe we can build this back a little bit like this maybe create a little bit of a platform here I mean that's we'll probably have to put power here won't we I mean it's a contradiction in terms but again this is very much just an experiment so we'll just put that there and what I'm hoping is that well, this needs oil, but eventually it will be gas. But I just want to see how well this will perform. And get, I think this is this is the one, isn't it? This supplies oil to the plastics industry. And what we've got to do is get. Could I go underground? <laughs> Am I going to embarrass myself here? Going underground. Uh, what we got here? Got underground pumping stations. Okay. Yeah, you know, so I put an underground pumping station here. This could all become a little bit of a dog's dinner. We gotta to get to there. See this is this is actually quite obliging wow. Oh I'd love much preferred 
some form of contrast here. If I turn that off, is there, there's no connector. How do I get it back to the surface then? Right. To the surface, okay. So you've got to bring it back up to the surface there to get a connector. And then we turn off that. And I get from here across to. Might be a bit tight in that. Put that up there. Too long. How can that be too long? That because it's too long from there. Okay, cancel. <laughs> okay, what we'll do now is see if we can get an underground pipeline from here. Say about here. Is that on the surface? No, it's not. Okay. It's underground. This is complicated, isn't it? Move this again. I think trying to these nearly need a pipeline there. I come in and then up here and then kind of come up the surface there. Turn off the underground pipe there and then all that. Too long. Uh, that is slightly in the wrong place. The trouble is, I've got power cables all over the place here. Okay, let's try again. Try another approach. Okay, so we're going underground. Got a little bit of a connector there. Now I know if the fact is that if you hook the connector, you can kind of go underground like that. Or that. Now that seems to have connected. Can I pick up from... you got to get up to there. Maybe for argument's sake I get to about... here. And then maybe we... Come up to up there. Can I hook up to there? Well that seems to have worked. I've got absolutely no idea whether that connection is solid, but we're going to accept it and just run through it, just to make sure. That seems to be that seems to be connected there. That seems, I think it's going to be running underground pipes is going to be fun, and that's connected to there because there's three inputs there. I'm going to just turn this slightly spooky layer off. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's, this is, as I said, it's very much a, an experimental process. And we've got this here. Ambulance has not arrived. Yep. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. If you've got any opinions on your experiences laying underground pipes, feel free to chuck them in the comments. I want to emphasize this is now very much an experimental Let's Play. Don't criticise me too much for not optimising things because this is very much about trying out things that might work, might not work. And I think just just to finish, well, we quite haven't got there with the aluminium industry, but, but this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.